What is going on you guys? David Short here, NPC Men's Physique Competitor. Welcome to the channel if you have not been here before. Um, today is actually my first attempt to vlog by myself. So if you guys have seen my other videos, uh, normally I have Peter behind the camera kind of um, taking over the editing, taking over the setup, taking over everything. So I'm a little new to all this stuff. So uh, if the, the quality is kind of eh, forgive me. Uh, I'm still working out the settings on my own camera and kind of how to make things work kind of solo. So um, the reason I got this vlogging camera was to be able to give you guys some more content, right? So today is Saturday. It is April 17th, um, currently 11.09. You can see 11. 09 April 17th. It's not really focusing, but um, we are officially nine weeks out from NPC Junior Nationals in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So um, I will be doing that show. I will be trying to turn pro at that show. Um, so now we're starting to see some changes both physically, mentally, um, even like emotionally. I'm getting more tired, I'm getting a little cranky, and um, I'm definitely feeling a diet. So I wanted to give you guys some insight on how the prep is going. Um, and furthermore, doing that by giving y'all a look on what I'm eating day to day. So I am carb cycling, but um, all in all, this is pretty much what I'm eating day to day. Today is another low day for me. Um, so I'll show you guys what I am eating, meal one through six, the quantities, how I make it fun, um, and kind of some tips and tricks on how to make your diet more enjoyable. So, um, right now I'm still fasted. I'll give you guys a physique update as well. Uh, see how we're looking nine weeks out and then I'll show you guys what meal one is. So first things first, I know y'all just saw that I, um, it was like 11 o'clock in the morning and I have not eaten yet. I got a haircut, um, but I'm still fasted, so I'm gonna step on the steel real quick and then I'll go outside and give y'all kind of a physique update, see how I'm looking, uh, and then I'll show y'all meal one. So I'm gonna go step on the scale and see how it looks. All right, so I just stepped on the scale. We actually have a new low weigh-in. So we are 216.2. So, um, like I said, new low weigh-in, that's pretty exciting. Um, I'll show you guys how we're looking and we'll see how um, that kind of translates to how I'm actually looking with a new low weigh-in. Sometimes losing weight's not like always the, the complete barometer of like success, but it's always a good sign that we're kind of going in the right direction. Uh, last time I did a show, which was NPC Universe in November of 2020, I stepped on stage around 205, maybe 206 pounds. Um, so with all that being in mind, um, I'm about 10 pounds away. So I'm gonna go outside and show you guys how I look. All right, so I don't know how that lighting was, so let's do it again over here and see if that lighting's any better. It's a little dark. So that's how we're looking, nine weeks out. 
Um, one thing I want to touch on real quick is I love my house and my location and everything because I don't have any back neighbors, which is kind of cool. But I do have a walking trail back there um, right behind me, but I have a lot of like greenery. So just sitting out here kind of puts me in a good mood sometimes. So I'll uh, kind of show you guys what it looks like. But whole house like right there and my whole backyard, it's like nothing but green and kind of like walking trail and just trees and stuff. So being able to come out here and um, you know, sit, hear the birds, um, not have to worry about like, you know, neighbors or anything is really, really nice. Um, and kind of helps me get my day off to a good start. So without further ado, here's meal one. All right, so here is meal one. We have two English muffins and three whole eggs. I like my eggs being over hard. I don't like them running all over the English muffins. So I have those there and I make kind of like a little sandwich with them. I add everything but the bagel seasoning. This is HEB's brand, but um, I originally got it from Trader Joe's, everything but the bagel seasoning. I put those on my eggs. And then I have four ounces of chicken over there. And you're probably wondering, damn, that looks really good. And guys, this stuff right here, this is the jerk flavor. There's other ones. I just got this for this prep. Complete lifesaver. I put it on my chicken every morning, especially on those like low carb meals where you don't have like rice or anything, kind of pat out the flavor. That makes it amazing. Um, I also throw this Walden Farms maple walnut on those little sandwiches, and then I put pink salt on the whole meal. Um, in the cup, I have water and a little bit of crystal light with uh, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar and that's gonna help start digestion. Um, so I'm gonna eat this, have some vitamins, show you guys my vitamins, and then we'll go on with the day. All right, so meal one is down the hatch. Uh, now I'm gonna show you guys some vitamins and just general health supplements that I take um, every morning. So a lot of them you'll see are from a company called Revive. I'm not affiliated with this brand or, or anything, um, but 
the products are just really good. So um, I take them and they keep me healthy and they keep me safe. So especially when you take like, you know, super supplements and whatnot, they really, really do help. So the first thing is pretty boring. It's just a regular men's multivitamin. Let's see if we'll focus. So it's a multivitamin. Um, I take two caps of that. Um, the next one is going to be a green supplement, which I already kind of pointed out a little bit. But greens are very, very important, especially as you start dieting. Um, you won't get a lot of those micronutrients, uh, as well as like some fiber and things like that. So that green supplement is awesome. Another one that really helps with heart health and cholesterol is going to be an omega-3 um, fatty acid supplement. This one is a glucose, um, just like kind of partitioning agent. So helps with nutrient uptake um, and just with blood glucose levels. So you're not, you know, your blood sugar levels aren't going up and down like crazy. Another one is a liver supplement. Um, guys, I'm not a natural athlete, so um, a liver supplement is very, very much needed, especially when you throw in oral supplements. Uh, COQ10 is another great heart supplement. Um, heart supplement, liver supplement, kidney supplements, very, very crucial on prep. Uh, ashwagandha, again, is kind of, you know, all over helps with kind of anti-stress and cortisol as well as liver function as well as heart function bergamot again helps with cholesterol it's kind of like the omega-3s uh this blood pressure supplement is phenomenal by um revive um let's see if we'll focus come on come on come on there it goes okay so um i love 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 this supplement i do have high blood pressure so i have a prescription for high blood pressure as well i've had it since i was 13. that has nothing to do with supplements but this one does help that blood pressure um number stay in a very healthy range turmeric is great for anti-inflammatories and then calm is an um a cortisol suppressant agent very, very good for sleeping, very good for rest days, very good for recovery, as well as keeping those cortisol levels low whenever doing a lot of cardio um, or, you know, just kind of stressing from prep. Other than that, I take these digestive enzymes. I take them with any big meal. Um, also with my food sometimes, I will take some antacids as well. Um, just to have any problems digesting anything or anything of that nature. So that is what my supplement cabinet and supplement hauls look like. Um, those are my morning supplements. So now I'm about to have meal two. I'm watching the Alabama spring football game over there right now. Um, so I'm about to have meal two and then we'll go to the gym shortly after that. All right, so my pre-workout meal is 75 grams. I know it says 76, but you know, close enough. So 75 grams of cream of rice. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my cream of rice first and foremost. Oh, boom, on the money. <laughs> All right, anyways. So um, I have 75 grams of dry wheat of cream of rice. So I'm gonna zero that out. And basically what I do is I have pretty much three times the amount of water weight as I do my dry weight of cream of rice. So 75 times three is 225. So we're gonna have about 225 grams of water in there. So I usually do a little bit more than that. So there's 221 and 228. So 235, that's about good. So what I do after that is I put this guy in the microwave for two minutes. So two minutes of that guy. And I'll show you what I do after that. Okay, so let me adjust this real quick. All right, so now um, cream of rice is out of the microwave. I had that done for two minutes. You can see there's a little bit of water left in there, um, but it's kind of hardened up a little bit. And you can see it's piping hot. So I put it back on the food scale, and now I have my whey isolate protein. So this is a brand called Nutristat. Um, I've been doing it for the past couple of months. Again, I'm not affiliated with any brand. Um, it's a vanilla protein powder though, and the macros on it are nuts. So for one scoop, it is 0.1 gram of fat. I don't know if y'all can see it, if it's focusing or not. Um, 0.1 fat, one carb, 26 grams of protein. So it's super, super lean, which is why I always have an isolate and why I recommend my clients to have an isolate. So um, I weigh out my protein powder, make sure it's weighed out. I don't just dump a scoop in there. Because I just did one scoop and it's 34 grams, whereas one scoop on here, a serving size is 29. 
So it doesn't sound like a lot, but whenever you're on prep, you want to make sure that every variable is taken care of. So I want 58 grams of protein powder in there. So there's that. Once you're done there, I then let it sit for a second. I get a spoon and then I stir it up. So we're gonna stir it up and I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like. So this should be good. So um, you can kind of manipulate your water from here. Um, I like to do mine, which is why I'm making it now. I like to make mine and I like it being a little bit thicker. I know some people like it runny and they like it hot. I don't like it hot. Um, so I usually make mine and then I mix it and I make sure it's thick and then I put it in the refrigerator. So pretty much mixed up there. So also, uh, I didn't just have regular unflavored cream of rice. This is the Pride Foods blueberry muffin flavor. So it smells amazing. Uh, it actually is one of my favorite flavors too. And they have like, you know, a fudge brownie flavor. They have the peanut butter flavor. So on this blueberry muffin flavor, I just have this. And then I put in a vanilla isolate, which is why I have the vanilla isolate. Um, so where to put that salt. So from here, all I'm gonna do is put in about five turns of pink salt. So five turns of salt there, kind of mix it up a little bit more. And here's kind of what it looks like after. It's kind of like a cakier consistency. So it's still smooth, but it's a little bit more cakey. So from there, I put it in the fridge and then um, I have a little bit of almond butter on top. I get 16 grams of almond butter. So that is my pre-workout meal, um, which I won't have until later, obviously. So I'm gonna have another meal soon in a second. Um, and I'll show you guys what that is. All right, so I just showered and shaved, and now it's time for meal number two. So um, I kind of sometimes will flip the order of my meals, uh, depending on what time I train. So Monday through Friday, I pretty much will train some clients in the morning, pre-workout meal, train post-workout meal. So obviously since I'm training in a bit, I'm gonna have um, a meal and then my pre-workout meal and then post-workout meal. So I'm actually gonna have meal four as meal two. So what that's gonna be is a lower carb meal. Um, and what it is, I, it's me dividing protein sources. So for two of my meals, I get four ounces of chicken plus a four ounce of another protein source. So um, one of them is white fish and then one of them is either 93.7 beef or a top sirloin steak. So I'm gonna do a steak meal, um, and I'll show you kind of how I do that and what the finished product is, but basically it is four ounces of steak, four ounces of chicken. Uh, there is no added carbs in here, so what I do is I usually add in some veggies. I have some bell peppers, some onions. Um, I do get 100 grams of spinach with this meal, uh, and then some carrots and some broccoli. It's supposed to be asparagus, but I'm out, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go to the store later and I'll get some asparagus there, but I have some broccoli that I'll try and get rid of. Um, so I still get my greens in there. Um, and I'll show you kind of the secret sauce that I put on this one. So stay tuned, I'll show you what this meal looks like once it's done. All right, y'all, not even trying to flex or anything, but check out this meal. A lot of green. A lot of color. So that looks delicious. So we have four ounces of chicken, four ounces of steak, some carrots, bell peppers, um, and that broccoli. And then again, G Hughes coming to save the day on prep is a teriyaki marinade. So look at those macros, man. 15 grams is one carb. Um, I honestly don't track it, but I probably use one, maybe two servings of that. So adding one or two carbs in a day is not that crazy right now. So I'll kind of do that. And um, you know, I caught it out closer to the show, but with nine weeks to go, I'm not really too worried about it right now. I'll probably cut it out, you know, once we're kind of four or five weeks out. But we have some zucchini, carrots, onions, bell peppers. So even though there's no carbs in this meal, this is one of my favorite meals. So I'm gonna let it kind of sit there for a couple more minutes. Um, and that's pretty much the finished product, but that is meal two. All right, so it's been about an hour since I had um, 
that steak meal. Um, actually, it's been like two hours. Um, but we're about to train. Um, usually, I try and eat every two and a half to three hours. But since when I train and I'm doing my cardio, I have a little bit longer gap in between. I'm going to have these meals a little bit closer together. So now we have that cream of rice that I showed you guys earlier. It's, a, it's you know, obviously it's harder now. That's a piece that my spoon is on. Um, but it's a little harder now. And it's more like a cake. Um, so all I do after I let it chill in the fridge for a little while is I just add um, some almond butter. So I have, let's see if it focuses there. Just some almond butter, um, nothing too crazy or fancy, but I get 16 grams of the almond butter. So what I do is I just grab it and have my food scale weighed out to zero. And that's kind of drizzle that 16 grams on there. So I know, I've probably said this like every one of my meals, um, but this is one of my favorite meals too. I really enjoy this meal. Um, I don't get bored of this meal. Um, as much as I kind of do like, you know, the chicken and rice and, you know, even the eggs and the English muffins, I, you know, I kind of do that one a lot. Um, and there's not really any variance to it. So it can kind of get kind of monotonous after a while, but the cream of rice, I always, you know, I can mix up the flavors, the protein flavors, you know, whatever. So I like to kind of, um, kind of just mix it up and, and that way it's always fresh. Um, sometimes I'll have a hot, most of the time I'll have a cold, but here's what it looks like. Um, all mixed together and kind of ready. Um, so I'm going to have this and I'm going to train in about 30 to 45 minutes, but here's what it looks like. So looks pretty good so like i said it's kind of more of a cakey consistency after i put the almond butter in but that's what it looks like and that is the pre-training meal Get a in. okay so it is now a few hours later it's what time is it 8 45. it's 8 45 so i spent way too much time at the gym and i have three meals still left to go um, so I told Hannah that I would make some fish today. So I'm actually making my fish fresh instead of my usual tilapia that's in the fridge. So I got some mahi, um, so I'm kind of grilling that up right now. And here's what it looks like. And then that is what's going to be her meal there. Mine's pretty much going to be the same thing. Veggies, um, like zucchini, some bell peppers, some carrots, and rice. And then here's that mahi there. Um, and then I have some asparagus in this meal too. So, um, like I said earlier, this meal I also get chicken. So I'm gonna do four ounces of fish, four ounces of chicken, 160 grams of rice, and then 50 grams of asparagus. So I'll show you guys the finished product, and that will be meal four. So here's the finished product. There's mine, put a little lemon ledge on there just for an aesthetic, but we got asparagus, peppers. I have my chicken in there as well. And then there's Hannah's. And then I'm gonna try this guy on there. I just got this just now. Come on, focus, focus. There we go. So sweet honey wing sauce, um, but it's still kind of that same sauce that I used this morning on the Caribbean jerk chicken. So I'm gonna do a little kind of dollop of that guy. That drizzle is a lot more aesthetic than this one, but we're gonna try that. Um, I'm gonna have a zero sugar lemonade with that. Macros on this stuff thing is amazing. One carb, focus. No, nope. all right, it might not. But one carb for eight fluid ounces. So we're gonna have some of that, and that's meal four. All right, next meal is pretty much the same thing as last meal, except instead of four ounces of fish and four ounces of chicken. It's just eight ounces of chicken, 160 grams of rice, and then I have some zucchini in there as well. Um, so that's it for the carbs for today. After this, I have one more meal before bed, and that's it. Okay, so it is about 11 p.m., and I'm gonna show you guys what happens every night in my household. So <laughs> my last meal is two scoops of protein powder, so protein shake and then I get 16 grams of almond or peanut butter. And my doggy, Lola, knows whenever 
it's peanut butter time. So literally she'll come over here once she hears the peanut butter on the food scale and she'll come and want some peanut butter. So every night our last meal is peanut butter and then we go to bed. <laughs> so let's see if she does it. So I'm just using the Jif natural peanut butter. Put this down here. But usually when I put this on the food scale, she's up, she's coming. And then once she hears the spoon, she knows. Hey sleepy. Peanut butter? Is it peanut butter time? So. Here's my 16 grams. Is that me done? And here's my buddy, waiting for hers. <laughs> and she literally licks her lips and everything. She doesn't really know what's going on with the camera, but I'll show you guys what she does. Every night, grab a little bit of peanut butter. <laughs> She'll come up and get it. You want it? Da thanks, Dad. So that is our nightly routine. So that is also my full day of eating. Um, I don't have the macros or anything listed out, but it's about 300-ish, I think it's like 320 grams of protein about 225, 230-ish grams of carbs, and it's about 40 grams of fat. So today is Saturday, it was the second of my three low days. Tomorrow's another low day, and then Monday I go to a high day, where all my meals are the same. The only difference is instead of 160 grams of rice in those last two meals, kind of real meals, um, it goes up to 280. So that is it for a full day of eating. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this style of video, and I appreciate you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.